Now we're going to get into estimating snow. Now, estimating snow can be complicated because there's a bunch of different ways to estimate snow. You can estimate as a seasonal contract, and you can do that very simply, or you can take a very detailed approach to that. You can also estimate by the push. And once again, there's varying detail levels of estimation that go into there. You can do by the push of different uh, snow depths. Other companies just do an average push and try to come up with a time for there. So we'll try to show you a couple of different ways of estimating while we're doing this so that you understand based on your specific method, the best way to set up LMN to help you estimate. In this particular section, we're gonna look at how to estimate snow when you're trying to come up with a by the push or when it comes to salting by the application price. Let's dive right into LMN now. Now it's really important when you're doing an estimate for snow, you should almost always be using service estimates. Service estimates are the ones that count the number of visits and that give you the opportunity to set something up as billable by the visit or billable by a seasonal price. You can tell you're using service estimates because the header up here in your estimating is a dark red as opposed to a blue header, which you'll get on installation estimates. Now the first step to doing good estimates for snow is making sure you have a good accurate address. Because what we can do now is click the measure site button. The measure site button will pull up the address of that job site. And here I can now draw an area just by clicking my mouse around the area we want to plow so that I get a pretty accurate site measurement here of how wide this is. I'm just going to drag my points here all around the lot and we could get as detailed or not as detailed as you'd like. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time doing good details on this video, but we'll get it close enough. There's our measurement around the area of the lot and down here it tells me 1.66 acres. I'm going to round up to 1.7 for our estimating. So now I know how much lot area I've got to estimate when we're building our estimates. Back to the estimate now. We're going to go to services and pricing. The first thing I want to figure out is how much it's going to cost us and what I should charge to plow that lot. No salt. So we're going to go add service. We're going to call this lot plowing. Now the billing type is bill per visit. So I'll leave it at that. The number of visits, I'm just going to leave it at one because it's bill per visit anyway. The cost code I'll set to snow and ice for my accounting integration. And now I'm going to go add items and templates. Now, if you've set up work area templates, this is even easier because you can just grab a template in there right now, but I'll do it the long way just for illustration. So to plow this lot, I'm going to need a snow plow driver, assuming I'm not doing the job with equipment or by hand, which I've got two other labor types for that. I'm going to go to my equipment and I'm going to grab a crew truck and a plow. And this is just for plowing only, so I'm not going to bother about salt at this point. I'm going to close this down now, get it out of the way. And now I have to figure out how long this is going to take. Now you can enter your labor hours right here directly if you already have a guess. If you've used templates, you'll have a calculator here which will help you use that calculation to figure out how long it should take. For this particular example, I'm going to use the production rate calculators that we set up. So I'm going to click that calculator here and what it's going to do is open up any or all of my production rate calculators. So I'm going to scroll down here this is a normal lot, so I'm going to pick my snow plowing lots normal production rate calculator. Over here it asks me what piece of equipment we're using. I'm going to do this lot with a plow truck, so right here I'm going to enter that in. Now I was going to round that up to 1.7 acres, so after I plug that in, you're going to see here that it's going to calculate for me based on a production rate of 0.8 acres per hour that I should take 2.13 hours to do this lot. Now if I thought this lot was easier, I could increase my production rate, and now my time goes down. Or if I thought this lot was harder, I could decrease my production rate, and now my time goes up. Or if it's exactly a normal lot, I'll just leave it as even. Now if I want to round this up to the nearest quarter hour, I can put 0.25 in my rounding factor, and it rounds up to the nearest. So now I've got 2.25 hours for this job. I'll click Update Estimate, and I'm also going to need a truck for that same amount of time. And I now have a price for plowing this lot. At a 20% profit margin, I need to charge $210.16 to cover the cost of this lot. So that's our plowing. What about our salting? Let's add that next. So we're going to add another service. I'm going to add one called salt application. Again, we're going to leave it as per visit. And I'm going to hit OK. Now this time, all we need to do is factor the time and salt it's going to take to put salt down. 
So again, I've got a snowplow driver and the equipment, I gotta make sure I've got a crew truck with a salter this time. Now, if you've got a dedicated salt truck, great, you can add that. Or if you're using a crew truck with a salter, you can add that as well. So I'll drop that in, close that down. And we're gonna now work out how long it's gonna to take to salt the lot. Once again, you can just throw a number at that right here if you want to, or if you've set up a production rate calculator, which I have, I'm gonna go in here and again, it's 1.7 acres. So it tells me it's gonna take me about 0.28 hours to salt the lot. I'll round that up to the nearest 0.25, so that's 0.5 and throw it in there. Now I've got my driver and my crew truck. I don't yet have my salt. So we'll go back to add items. I'm gonna add the materials and I'm gonna add salt. We're gonna use bulk rock salt from the yard. So I'll drop that in there. And now I've gotta just put in the quantity of just off the top of my head. We're gonna use 0.75 tons of salt for that lot. And now I have a price for salting lot, just under $150 in application. So now I've got two items in here. I've got salt application and I've got lot plowing and I've got a per visit price over here for each one. For those of you who like a little more detail in your estimates, like lot plowing by the lift, for example, a two to four inch event is this price. A four to six inch event is this price. We're gonna do the exact same thing we just did, but just crank it up a notch. Here, for example, under lot plowing, I've got my driver and the plow. If I wanna make this a lot plowing two to four inch, what I'm gonna do first is just change the name of this to two to four inches so that we know what this one was for. So now I've got my price for a two to four inch plow. Let's make one for a four to eight inch plow. Instead of making it from scratch, I'm gonna drop this down here and say copy. This time I'm gonna call this one lot plowing four inch to eight inch and hit OK. In the lot plowing, I've got my driver and my crew truck time, but of course now we're gonna to have to increase it if it's gonna be a deeper snow. So what I can do is just manually override this, or if you wanna get with your production rate calculators again, I can bring it up. Again, I'm doing 1.7 acres, but this time in a deeper snow, it's gonna take us a lot longer to plow. So I'll change my production rate this time to 0.5 acres every hour. This time it's gonna take me 3.4 hours to plow the lot. I'll round it up to the nearest quarter hour. It takes me to 3.5 hours. So I'll set that up like that. We'll save our changes now. And the one thing I might do is just reorder this so that I put my salt application first, then I got my lot plowing there, and then I got my lot plowing on the deeper snow here. So now I've got two prices. I've got lot plowing two to four inches, 210. Lot plowing four to eight inch, 327. Let's do one more now for a lot plowing of eight to 12 inches. I'm gonna copy this one. And this will be called lot plowing eight to 12 inches. Hit okay. Now, once again, what do we need to do? We need to adjust our times and production rates. So I'll go in here, I'll grab my calculator. It's 1.7 acres. This time though, we can only do 0.25 acres an hour because we're talking about a deep snow. 6.8 hours to do the lot. I'll update my truck here, 6.8 hours. And now I've got a contract that's priced by the lift with separate prices for salt application, lot plowing two to four, four to eight, eight to 12. And I did it in just a couple of minutes or less. Hit save changes. And you've got a good snow estimate that'll allow you to price your jobs per visit. And to print your proposals, you're gonna to go to the print, pick the proposal that best suits it only. Here, we're gonna do per visit pricing, hit the print button, and you'll have an estimate that you can print or email your customers directly out of the system. Companies are gonna to wanna to make sure that before they print their proposals or generate anything for the client that you got your verbiage filled out. So don't forget under the client notes section, you can set up client notes here with your contract terms and specifications. Or if you like all your contract terms and specifications at the end, you're gonna add them to your footer terms and conditions like that. That's where they'd be if you want them to come out after all your pricing. Now, the other thing you can do is set up default terms and conditions for your snow work. And you're gonna do that over here under the terms and conditions section, where you can set up default contract lingo for your terms and conditions for snow. You can add those in simply by clicking this button and picking whatever set of terms and conditions you wanna to add to drag and drop into this estimate. If you have any questions about estimating snow by the push, be sure to email us at support at goelement.com 
and we'll walk you through it. In the next couple of videos, we'll go through some different ways of estimating other types of work, including per season contracts.